Hi everybody, in this video we're going to be selecting a custom dataset and training a model from scratch using Monoi Label. Let's get started. The very first step is to download the dataset we're using. For this video we'll use the COVID-19 CT Lang and Infection Segmentation dataset. Once we download the dataset, the next step is to download the Radiology app. The Radiology app is composed of three models, the Deep Grow, Deep Edit, and the Cementation model. Although we use the Cementation model for this video, you could follow the same steps for the Deep Edit model. Here we set the label names, and set to false the pre-trained model. Setting the pre-trained model to false is mainly because we are training from scratch and also the default pre-trained model works for a different number of labels. Next step is to prepare the dataset so Monai label can read it. For that, uncompress the file, create a folder, and place the images in the folder. Copy the path where the images are located as we needed to start the server. Now let's start the server. We have everything we need to start the Monai Level server. The radiology app with the cementation model and the dataset ready. Once the server started, we go to Slicer, search for the Monai Level module connect to the server and fetch the next sample. In this video, we'll use the grow from seed functionality to create the labels. For this, we create the background label and then add seed to the organs we want to segment, the lungs in this case. Once we add the seeds for all segments, including the background, the next step is to activate the Grow from Seeds functionality and initialize. This can take 30 seconds to a minute, depending on the image and organ size, and of course, the computer you are using. If you're happy with the obtained segmentation, click Apply, and then Show 3D. You can see that this label needs more work. But for the sake of this demo, let's say that this label is ready. We submit the label to the server so it can be used to train our segmentation model. Once the label is submitted, we can start training our model. There are actually two approaches you could follow. One is to annotate one image and trigger the training, or annotate more than one volume before triggering the training. We continue the annotation of a second volume while the training is happening in the background. Again, the same process. Create the background label, add seats for each segment, and initialize growth from seeds functionality. Once the label is ready, we submit it to the server and start the training process again. In this case, we're actually updating the model that was trained with the first label. Here you can see the logs of the training process. Every time that you hit the button train, the model is trained for 50 epochs. But you can change this value in the options tab, and the variable name is max epochs. 
from previous experiences uh, to get a model with decent lung cementation results, you will need to first segment 10 to 15 volumes and then train the model for around 800 epochs. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.